wouldn't advise going inside. Not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness. Your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to meet you, my friend. Vincent, the LSPD's newest recruit. Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop very conspicuously for 10 years now? In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Word, last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, effing what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some effing coffee down here on Dick's. And don't forget the effing cream and sugar. Copy that. All these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Hey, you read me? Dropping you the location shortly. These are all businesses known for money laundering. I invite you to consider this as a double investment opportunity. A chance to raise the funds we need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Cartel Cop Coalition. And as a bonus, you get to disrupt some of your more unsavory competitors. Not to mention, you land yourself a handsome reward when this is all over. Don't worry about the legal repercussions. The LSPD wouldn't dare look into it. One would not defecate in their own backyard, so to speak. Not without landing themselves in the proverbial dookie.
Hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. This is a solid fund to use on the rest of our planning efforts. The first leg of which I'll get to work on right now. I'll be in touch. Are you tripping, yo? Watch where you're going. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>